Garmin has a feature on a selection of its wearables that could potentially save your life. In this video, I explain how to enable Garmin abnormal heart rate alerts. This allows you to be notified if your heart rate exceeds specified values while you are at rest. You can set a top and a bottom threshold. If you've bought a Garmin watch in recent years, chances are you can set a top threshold. Just like on the Apple Watch, if you are inactive for 10 minutes or more and your device detects that your heart rate has gone above and stayed above your entered threshold, it will alert you. Switching the functionality on depends on the watch that you own. Those with a Vivo Smart, Vivo Move, or Vivo Sport will need to open heart rate settings on their timepiece. Turn on abnormal heart rate alerts and choose a heart rate threshold. The default value is 100 beats per minute. If you have a watch from the Vivo Active range, you will need to swipe up on the watch face to access the heart rate widget. Hold the screen to open the menu, select heart rate settings, abnormal heart rate, turn the alert on, and choose the desired threshold. Finally, those with a Forerunner, Phoenix, or Epix watch will need to press the down key until the heart rate widget appears. Press and hold the up key until the menu opens. Select heart rate options, abnormal heart rate, turn on the alert, and optionally adjust the threshold value. It is important not to confuse these with alerts you would get from a certified medical device. Nevertheless, it is a useful feature that can alert people to a potential problem. Some garments can also alert to abnormally low heart rate. Once again, the instructions for switching on the functionality depend on which device you own. But it's similar to how you set up high heart rate alerts. For example, if you have the Phoenix watch, you'll need to scroll down to the heart rate widget. Hold the up button until the options menu pops up. Then you'll need to select heart rate options and abnormal heart rate alert. Turn on low or high alert and enter the threshold. It is worth noting, the lowest you can go for the bottom threshold is 40 beats per minute. Now, while this might seem very low and a potential indicator of a condition such as tachycardia or bradycardia, it might be perfectly normal for some Garmin users. Many trained athletes have heart rates that dip into the 30 beats per minute at rest. The question was raised on a Garmin forum, with a suggestion of providing an option to set a lower number. Your feedback will be taken into consideration as we continue to develop this feature, but I cannot promise a change was the response from the Garmin moderator. This was designed to work for as many customers as possible while delivering the greatest accuracy that we can. I apologize that our current settings do not work for you and the frustration this causes. So for now, 40 BPM will remain as the lowest value. It should work for the general population, but if you're a well-trained athlete, you might want to give the low threshold functionality a miss.